Hi, this is Sam Miller with Cardstock Modeling. In this episode, we're going to put details on the small wooden ice house cedar shake roof. First, let's take a look at the isometric. As you can see, here's our ice house, and here is the shingles, which I call cedar shake, that we're going to be working with. In this segment, we'll be dealing with page 7, which has the shingles and the uh, roof ridge, as well as the underlayment. Also included with the kit is an additional page of cedar shingles. So what can you expect? What, what we'll be doing is working with rows, such as this, of shingles, and then cutting them in widths of, of two rows, and then adding details as we overlap the shingles. So let's get started. I think you'll find this is a simple process that adds additional relief and details to your structure. The first thing you want to do is make two additional copies of page seven. And the reason we do this is that we're going to lap the shingles on each side of the roof. The first thing you want to do is to score the back of the base layer, then cut it out. The next step is to take the two copies of page seven we made and cut out the roof outlines on each page. The next step is to take your gray marker and mark the edges of both copies of the roof shingles. These two copies are going to become what we use to add the additional layers slash details on top of the roof. So what I do is turn, turn them over and in the center I mark one and the other one I mark two. The first step is to cut off the base row from the shingles. And let's take a look. What I'm going to do is cut off this bottom row right here. And that's going to be cut from sheet one. And what I do is to follow the shingle line that lays right on top of that first row. And it's going to have some jaggedness to that. And by cutting it this way, it will add realism. Take my gray pen or felt pen, pen, whatever, and uh, highlight the bottom. What I do to add relief, as you can see, is to come in and randomly cut, just a soft cut, where the shingles lap together on this first row. And you can vary how deep you cut them, but this will give the sort of a weathered look and natural look. Just light strokes. And then what you can do is to take this, this and add some relief to it. Just lightly bend. And you can see that. Okay. The next step is to go up two rows and cut that again, just like you did on your first row. And fall the relief. <laughs> So that this 
this gives us our first row for the shingles. And to show you the effect, I'm just going to use <clears throat> this, place it on top. And you can see that we leave the first, the base row relieved. It's exposed. And then on the, the beginning of the first main row is where we put that edge and follow that there. A simple trick I use is to take a pencil and use this as a guide after I placed, put my shingle uh, row to be added in place is to take a pencil and put it on the top and line it. And what this shows me is where my glue line will fall below, which is this pencil line right here. And I'm only going to glue the, the top row, not the bottom row, so that the uh, bottom row will have, uh, have more relief. So let's go ahead and glue this. And as you can see, I've already added a number of rows. But this will give you an example. I just place dots along here. Enough, so glue it fine. Okay, the next step is uh, make sure I've got my some flexing in my shingles there and now I place a position following where my guideline is pencil line but ultimately you want the bottom of the relief shingles, adding relief, to follow that printed area where the shingles are, are, are on the previous layer of shingles. So there. And then, as you can see, all these shingles are uh, I, the rows I have, I've completed the other side as well. And you can take a look at, well, what's the difference? Adds a lot more realism. So I'll continue to finish off the roof and then come back to you to show how we'll put the underlayment on the back side of the roof. The next step was to add uh, additional relief to the roof ridge after putting on all the shingles. So what I did is I cut out the roof ridge and also scored the back of it. Now we'll just shade the edges and now we'll uh, bend the roof ridge I use this 18 millimeter uh, utility knife because it helps me lift the, the edge of the paper. Okay, now let's see how it fits. Not bad. We'll go ahead and glue that.
next step is to cut out the underlayment on page 7. But before doing that, we're going to mark the fold lines. And score that. Next, I'll use a glue stick on the, uh, the edges and key center points of the back side of the roof. After this dries, we may well trim these edges up right here. There, trim that. And we're good to go. So that concludes the episode on detailing the cedar shingles on the main roof and putting in the underlayment. In the next episode, we'll show the completed shingles on the lean to roof, which is the same technique as well as we will finalize the upper wall supports and the roof supports and then install both roofs and then we'll be finished. See you next episode and thanks for watching.